So yeah, um, like I said, this is gonna be with Cali. I got these hair clippings from Amazon. I got two packs of them because they were a little thin. I got 16 inch and it like matches my hair. Almost perfect. So I'm gonna use these to do my updo. Now this is my first time doing this. So please don't nobody scold me or come for me. I'm like trying to get my hair as cute as possible for Valentine's Day. But yeah, anyways, just keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So as I said earlier, um, this hair extensions are from Cali, and I got them from Amazon. They're pretty affordable. I only spent like about 50 bucks on one pack, and this is for the 16 inch, and this is for the 27 kind of 1B ombre color going on. So here, my hair was already like two weeks old from being pressed out, and I just decided to just stick with it instead of washing my hair. I only flat ironed around the parameter of my hair, so only the parts that you really would see, which is around by, um, by the ears, the back, and then the front, because I was really trying to avoid putting as much heat as possible on my hair, especially being a, being a blondie. For those who are or have any colored hair, you know the less heat, the better. So I ended up only using one pack of the clip-ins to achieve this hairstyle. I actually... I didn't end up using the whole pack. I just used like just a majority of it. And I had like, I think two or three pieces left. So when I did the clip in, I did them going like facing up. So as you see me here, I'm kind of like bending my head down. I turn around so y'all can see like where I'm placing it. Like I'm placing it going up. So when I put my hair into the ponytail, you can, you won't see any of the, the clip ins or anything like that. So yeah, I ended up putting like two big clips in the back of my head. Well, actually, I put like about two medium, medium to medium to big, long or whatever clips in the back of my head. And then I put the longer clip in the middle of my head. So, yeah, I put two clips in the back and a big middle one in the a big one in the middle. And then I put, I think, like two more in the front of my head, as you'll see here. I'm putting like, I think I put like two. Yeah, I put the two clips. Oh, I can't talk, y'all. I put two clips in the front and I put two big clip, two regular like medium sized clips in the back and one long one in the middle of my head. Now, when I get to the top, I lay them regular. I lay them facing, you know, facing regular, like facing down. Why well, cannot I talk today? <laughs> I end, I do them regular. Okay. Y'all see them. Y'all, man, y'all watching the video. Y'all know what I'm doing. Okay. Y'all see it. But um, yeah, so over and all in total, I had about like five clips in my ponytail. And then for my bang, I used like two clips, which we'll get to and see there. But yeah. Now, I will say, y'all, I was, I was struggling a little bit trying to do this because this was my first time doing this hairstyle and like, I was, I was rushing because I had to be ready by a certain time. And I still had to do my makeup. I only had like an hour, I think, left to get ready. But yeah, so I was rushing. So please don't judge me if y'all see any imperfections or anything like that. So here I go. I'm brushing the hair up in that ponytail, you know, getting all the nets, getting all the, getting ready to shape it, give it some, what that girl said, new cut, new color, new look. Baby, that's what I'm trying to give y'all. But I go in. In order to like lay everything down, I don't I don't lay my edges down. I probably I didn't lay them until like after I got out the shower. But I go in with like a wax or edge stick. This one is like a common one that I've been using for a long time. Now here is where I realized what I would do for the future whenever I do this hairstyle again is that I won't use a wax stick. The next time I am actually thinking it's better to use beeswax because by the end of the day. My hair had like soaked up all of the of the wax stick. Like I I can't even explain. Like my hair just soaked it all up. Like my hair better have been thirsty. That's how much it's it soaked up all that product. So I think beeswax is, is made is way better and it'll allow it to, your hairstyle to be held for way longer than the two days that my hairstyle held here. So I'm just going in to just pin curl the ponytail to blend it in with my hair, 
And then we're going to just pin it up just to get the curls just to hold until I'm getting ready to pin the actual bun together. As far as shedding or anything like that, I only got like a little bit of shedding from the hair. I was actually thoroughly surprised with the fact that the hair took heat well. And that Babyliss right there is a hot flat iron. Anyone who owns it knows that that thing is hot. And it held very, very well, like with the curls and everything. Now, for any of those who are OG on my on my um, YouTube channel, yes, I chew my tongue. It is my habit. I have been doing it since I was a baby. So please do not come for me. Like, that is my, I guess you could say, stress reliever. So do not come for me. It's my habit. It's not going to change. I'm going to forever be chewing my tongue. Whenever I'm super focused or into something, I chew my tongue. That's just what I do. Okay, so don't be trying to come for me. Watch the video, enjoy. Look at the hair, not my tongue. Look at the hair. Okay? Thank you. All right, so after we got that pinned, this is the hard part. Like, it looks easy on camera, but it was definitely pretty hard. So this is where I was trying to pin, like, that bun. And I was struggling for, like, a good 10 minutes trying to figure out where everything go. I just ended up pinning all the pieces together just somehow some way and it ended up looking good anyways but I know for the future what I would do next to ensure that it looks even better than what it did it, it gave it did give it gave what it was supposed to give it gave what it was supposed to give I'm sorry but it, it, it was all right so basically what I did was when I started at the end when I started realizing that you see me here I'm wrapping it around like I'm going to pin it up like you know how you pin up a curl with the like silver duck clip to hold, I pinned it up that way and I ended up using open um, open bobby pins and that actually helped a lot. You see me turn around here and how I'm stretching out the hair? Yeah, that that is what I end up doing and you see me do it here in the front. Like I realized wrapping it around like that is how you're like supposed to do it and then that will give you what you're looking for and you, then you stretch it out. So yeah, I learned that for next time but it still came out so cute. I just loved the way like it just, it looks like it looks really, it looks really elegant in my eyes. But here, this is where I got like a, I think a medium clip probably. And I swooped it around and made a C shape in my bang because I wanted a longer piece in the front just to give it some more fullness. And that's what I did. And it ended up working really well. It just had like a little piece that you could see. But once I got the bang curled, you wouldn't be able to see it anymore. So yeah, here, like I said, I'm straightening only my parameters. I only straighten the top part because that's the part that everybody would see the most. And I added like a small piece of a clip, the small clip in, the smallest one in the pack at the top here that you'll see here shortly. All right, so now that all that's together, we're just going to go ahead and pin curl it and just to give it some shape and after i got done pin curling this i actually just decided to leave it up until i was done with my makeup and getting ready with everything and then you'll see here i realized that for the bang part i definitely had to go back and recurl it into smaller pieces to be able to get the full look that i wanted but here i am i'm back and now i'm about to just lay my edges with some edge control I only kind of wanted to swoop the side that had my bang, um, that my bang was not on, so I could have just, you know, a little, a little effect. But baby, when I lay these edges, baby, when I lay these edges, honey, the look what's coming together. You about to see, you about to swoop, 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 swoop. <laughs> All right, let me stop. But um, as I was saying, I don't know if y'all can see like how my hair kind of started frizzing up a little bit on the side right there after I put that wax stick like it just it was just not for my for my hair for when it comes to ponytail like my hair soaked it all up now on my other side don't be trying to come for me on my edges over there my edges are thinner there they have just been that way for forever since even when I was in high school or I was little I think it's more of a hereditary thing so I just don't really try to waste my time doing too much of effects on that side I just kind of swoop it up into my hair and leave it at that. Time for the reveal. Ooh. 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 Baby.
baby. Yes, who told you to be this cute? <laughs> My parents did. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me stop. But yeah, I'm just spraying some oil sheen and just kind of getting the bang together. I ended up recurling it a little bit into smaller sections to be able to get like that, that perfect look. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of like playing around with it, trying to get it to like that perfect shape. And I end up doing it. And you can see, voila, a baddie is here. Mama is here, baby. I'm ready to be fine while I'm getting wine and dined. <laughs> Okay, bitch. Okay, you guys, so this is the fit I decided to go with. This is from Zara. Um, I got this like in the end of 2022. I don't know, but I don't think they sell it anymore. It's like a little, like a silk satin set and a, these little heel silver ones. And I don't have like a white purse to go with my outfit i wish i did our silver so i went with my old michael kors bag it's pastel so we're giving pastel colors but anyways yep she's ready Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.